Hey, Aaron, what do you think led to the offensive explosion tonight? Really started from Jump Street. Obviously, DJ smoking a ball to, to get things going. Judgey flies out to the wall. Sanchi with a really good at bat. And then, and then G, you know, really stepped on one. But, you know, it was that throughout. Everyone kind of contributing up and down the lineup. Really good at bats. You know, I, I thought it was a game where we, we it was nice to get some breaks. You know, we had some some infield hits, some soft contacts go for hits. And, you know, anytime you rack up that many hits, that's going to happen. But we haven't had a lot of games where, you know, we've found holes when, when it hasn't been perfect. And, and that was nice to see. But the quality of, of the at-bats from, from everyone was really strong tonight. Luke Voigt with five hits tonight. That's the first in his career that he's managed a, a five-hit night. If he can get going offensively, just what would that mean for this offense? Yeah, I mean, he's he's huge for us. Um, just adding the length, the tough at-bats he brings. You know, he did a good job using the field tonight. You know, he's he hasn't used right field a lot here in the last week or so. And, you know, right away he goes the other way. Uh, for a hit that way, hits the double off the fence that way. So good to see him using the whole field because, you know, I, you know, it's a little bit cliche. We throw that out there, but you know, when the guys have the ability to use the whole field, especially when you have the kind of power that Luke does, um, you know why I don't know? that's usually a good thing. And obviously, uh, to throw another one out there at the end was nice. What's so funny? John Sterling is exiting for the evening, so uh, I apologize. Uh, being very loud in the hallway. Um, knowing that you were limited in the bullpen, just how much did you need an outing like that from Tyone? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was big. That was a big pick-me-up. and I thought he was probably as good as he's been. Um, and, and the mix of pitches, the quality of really all of his pitches, use the two-seamer and the four-seamer. You know, the curveball to there, the slider and the changeup were both um, good pitches for him as well tonight. But I just thought pounding the strike zone, but mixing up his looks all the time. And I just thought that was an exciting outing. He was he was in complete control out there. And, and uh, yeah, we definitely needed it. Aaron, you've been using the magic word unlock a lot in regards to your offense, so you need to unlock the offense all the time. Uh, what does that mean for you? And was tonight the most unlocked you've seen that? Look, I, I, I think we've been getting pretty close to that. You know, this is, yeah, I mean, this is probably a good outing as we've had, you know, a couple of homers, a ton of hits, everyone getting a lot of hits and finding some holes even when it wasn't perfect. Um, but I, I feel like this lineup's building that momentum. We're getting more and more guys, um, you know, kind of locked in and who they are. Uh, you know, I mean, I have a ton of, ton of confidence in this group and, and we got to keep going. We got a tough one tomorrow with, with a guy, you know, going up against us, going to the all-star game, having a great season. So it's going to be a challenge tomorrow. And just from a relief standpoint, how good did those first three innings feel to build a lead early? Yeah, anytime you can, you know, we, we haven't had a lot of games where we've kind of gotten out and just run away. And so to have a game like that and to have J-Mo doing what he's doing on the other side of the ball when, you know, we're obviously, you know, a little bit up against it, you know, bullpen-wise and, and things for the offense to do what they did and the, for J-Mo to take it from there, yeah, you love these kind of games when, when you're on the right side of them. Thank you. Can you go next to Dan Martin? Aaron, you used uh, Araldus there, uh, and he still, you know, it looked like his philosophy was down, and uh, he got out of the inning. What, what did you think of him overall, and where, where does he stand with you at, at this point? Yeah, better. Um, you know, I, I don't think – I think he was, because of the situation, probably not reaching back for all his velocity. I think he really wanted to just try and find some lanes and, and, and get into his delivery. And, um, and I thought he did a better job of that, you know, ends up striking out, I think all three in that inning, um, you know, had some close misses, uh, lost, who'd he lose there on, lost more on, um, 
on four pitches, but I thought was competitive with, with really every other guy and ends up striking out three. So hopefully a step forward for him. He's going to continue to work and continue to do pre th pregame things that hopefully uh, get him right back on track. But And hopefully this is a step towards that for him. Does this put him back in, in, in a good standing as your closer at this point, or is that still a work in progress? Yeah, well, I, look, I, I want to continue to get him out there this week, um, you know, at least a couple more times, and it could be in a closing situation or it could be um, in, in a different kind of situation just to get him back out there and get him on the mound and get him, uh, you know, kind of locked back in.